Hey guys, Jessica here. So today let's use some of our pump science to dig into determining if the information that durable medical companies or manufacturers give to us is always accurate and always represented in a way that anybody viewing the data would agree with. And also to see if this graphing pressure meter can sometimes explain things that moms are reporting with pumps that we wouldn't necessarily know. So we're gonna talk about the Motif Duo today. So this is the Motif Duo. This was the Motif Duo. In the last year, they've upgraded the Motif Duo. The biggest visual change is the color and they did change the shape of the parts. So you can see these two backflow protectors are not the same. It honestly just looked like a cosmetic change, to be honest. This is more in line with other parts that we see. This one looked a little bit outdated, but it had been out for a few years and visually breast pumps are becoming more refined. So it didn't necessarily send up any red flags right away, but we're going to talk about what this means for the pump because it actually was a significant change to the pump. So I became aware of this change the first time when the local durable medical companies started calling me and saying, you know, we really, we've got a new pump. We want to show you that you can tell your clients all about. And they said the Motif Duo. I'm like, well, that's been out for a while. And I was like, no, it's upgraded. You're going to love this. It's so much better. The thing is, I already liked this one. And I had quite a few clients who really liked this one. And I had a client who really liked this one and it died. And when she replaced it with this one, to say she was dissatisfied is an understatement. She was really not happy with the changes, but she couldn't actually verbalize to me what was necessarily different. So when I got the pressure graphing meter, one of the first things that I did was start investigating this. Like, What exactly was the change here? And how do we explain these differences when we upgrade a pump? Because this is a Motif Duo and this is the Motif Duo and they don't appear to be the same in terms of people using it and what they're reporting, yet the companies are telling us that they're the same. So let's look at what we can actually see. Let's start with looking at the parts. So the backflow protector was the only thing that really changed. For this one, which is the original style, you've got a flat membrane inside of this little container that kind of snaps and twists together. For this one, we've got a flat platform with a membrane down over it and then a little kind of like spaceship style case. So very similar to what we're seeing on similar in Spectra and Motif, just slightly different shape. So I thought it was probably just cosmetic. The complaint that I had heard about this pump from a couple different people is that every now and then this pump felt like it was kind of hiccuping and they couldn't put their finger on what it was doing, but they... They were like, it just does this weird thing every now and then, no big deal. Well, we actually caught this weird thing on the graphing meter. So let me pull this up and show you what the graph looks like. And then I'm going to explain what it was actually doing. Okay, so see how this pressure kind of rises and then it just rapidly falls off. This was in one of the expression modes or the stimulation modes. So we're talking low pressure. But when something drops to 20 to 30 mmHg, we're talking barely perceptible to a lot of people's nipples, especially if you have been pumping for several minutes. So to them, it felt like it just kind of stopped, even though it wasn't actually stopping. What was happening is that this flat membrane was being pulled on by the air tube that's connected here. So all of the actual pressure being placed against it, all the suction, was coming from this direction, but it didn't always raise evenly. And if it happened to raise from one side faster than the other, it would actually kind of get stuck, which is what would cause the pressure loss is that the membrane was not moving. So changing to this style, we saw that stop entirely. This membrane does not do that. This is not something we've seen with these ridged membranes, but that makes sense if you understand that the ridges in the silicone will actually change how it moves. On this one, it actually moves more evenly and it always goes up from the center and then the other two ridges follow. So it's always gonna go up almost like a little pyramid. I don't think I ever saw this one actually exceed the full depth of this backflow protector because that is often the pressure regulating function on some of these backflow protectors is once it's the plastic, there's no additional suction that can be generated. 
But this one, it's not pulling hard enough that it's going to do that. But this one raises really, really nicely. So that is a plus that this upgrade did solve this problem with the pump. So that's good. So let's look at the suction strength on this pump. Okay, so here we've got the blue is the original pump or the original orange Motif Duo. It's running between about 40 and 230, 240, depending on the test. The upgraded one is running about 60 to 240. So actually not that much of a crazy difference. So on this one, they're, they're running about the same. It's really not that much different, but I wanted to see how much of that was because of the backflow protector. So I took the orange one and I hooked it up to the upgraded backflow protector, which is the one with the ridges and that's in the blue. So this backflow protector does get a lot stronger suction. And what that means is that you could actually have a smaller motor be able to generate as much, if not more suction than a bigger motor could necessarily with a less efficient backflow protector. And that's what we're seeing. Again, we're talking about very small differences in suction. I would not say the suction is substantially different between these two, but let's look at the cycle speeds. So with the cycle speeds, what you can see is that the Motif Duo Orange Original is running faster. It starts at 78 in massage mode, which is really good for a portable pump. Um, what we know about cycle speeds is that 70 above and above is going to trigger a letdown more consistently across more people. When you drop below 70, between 70 and 60, it's typically pretty good. And then once you get below 60, there are a lot of people that that speed just doesn't work as well for. So either they're going to go longer in between letdowns, they're not going to have as many letdowns, or for some people, they just don't get a letdown. That's why we have some people that don't respond to some pumps like the Simulary S6, which has a maximum speed of 60. So that is something that you, you want to look at. Faster is typically considered to be a better pump. So this is a reduction in speed. So let's look at how much it actually reduced it. So it reduced it between 3% in massage mode two and 33% in expression nine. That's a substantial decrease. And most of the decrease was actually in the expression mode where we've got higher suction. And what that tells me is that the orange motif duo that was able to have, you know, similar suction, if not higher suction with this higher cycle speeds is probably actually a better quality motor. It may be a little bit bigger. I'm not really sure. I haven't actually gotten my in-house engineer to crack the motif duos open, but it does suggest a little bit either bigger or higher quality motor. And you can see again here, we're just talking that the original Motif Duo ran much faster. So for that client who was really upset about her Motif Duo in the gray, just not working like the orange, what it turned out is that she was almost always using above 70, but she needed above 70 with a little bit higher suction than what she could get with the gray. So the gray was too slow by the time it was strong enough to trigger her letdown. It just wasn't, wasn't doing it anymore. And then from a more general perspective, I really like to see a pump that can operate above 70 in the higher expression modes. That to me is a really strong pump that I have good luck with. But over here, this purple line is where 70 would be. The gray doesn't even come close to that. That, that's a problem. This is not the same as this. It's also, this is probably a little bit better pump. I think what this pump needed was the flat backflow protector membrane to be upgraded because that membrane was not as high quality as the ridged ones that perform more consistently. But this is not as powerful of a motor. Is it gonna work for most people? Absolutely. But when you call something the same name and people had, I mean, this. This one's been around for a while. People had kind of grown accustomed to it. They liked it. When you change a pump, but you don't change the name, that's really frustrating for consumers. And it's frustrating for lactation consultants because now we're like, well, 
oh, you're using this pump? Well, which version of this pump are you using? And you have to be aware, this is not, this is not the only pump this has happened with. There are multiple pumps right now where if I'm investigating something with a client, I have to ask a lot of follow-on questions to figure out exactly which pump they're operating and what those settings would mean in terms of, are we using efficient settings? Do we need to optimize something? Do we need to change something? It kind of puts consumers at a disadvantage because you're trying to purchase products based on what previous reviews have said. And it puts lactation consultants at a disadvantage because we don't necessarily know the changes. Like I said, I had a company reach out and tell me that this was a significantly better pump and I was going to be so pleased. But in my opinion, this was the better pump. This is a downgrade for me. I would no longer necessarily recommend this for somebody who's who needs that faster, more reliable cycle speed in order to have a portable pump. I'm a little concerned that the quality changed. You know, again, when we talk about higher quality motors tend to be able to sustain faster speeds. Why you would reduce speed if you're not reducing the motor quality, I don't know, because that goes against, you know, pump science and what we know is working and what consumers want. So I have to assume that there's a quality issue. And then if there's a quality issue, I have to question, well, how long is it going to last? So is this a bad pump? No, it's not a bad pump, but it's not this pump. And that's where pump science is going to become increasingly important, but we need to know this information. And I'm, for one, I'm really glad that we can explain what's going on with these pumps. And I'm glad that breast pump science is allowing us to help figure out what's happening and will hopefully help us figure out how to tell before you spend your money, because I would love to be able to actually tell you what pumps are worth buying with reliable evidence-based information, not just, well, we've had a lot of luck with this one. I think we can do better than that. So we're going to continue doing this. And I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing how breast pump science works to help us figure out what these pumps are doing.